Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, I actually do three things to like, comment, and subscribe. I also ask you to hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. The reason why I ask to like, comment, and subscribe is because the more you interact with this video, the more YouTube promote this video, and this will help us get the gospel of Jesus Christ worldwide. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. In this video, I just want to share with you the word the Lord has placed on my heart for the year 2022. And the word is so. So the word of 2022 is so. It is a, it's the year to sow into your friends. It's the year to sow into your marriage. It's the year to sow into your children. It's the year to sow into your local church. It's the year to sow into your to the different local um, nonprofits. It's the year to sow into your businesses. It is the year to sow into yourself. This is the year you sow into your spiritual life and start a Bible plan and join a local church and join a small group. This is the year to sow into your mental space, your mental health, and start going to therapy. This is the year to sow into your finances and write a budget and get out of debt. This is the year to sow into your health and start dieting and working out. This is the year of the sow. In 2022, God will give us the tools to sow, but what we do with those tools will be up to us. Don't go when God is telling you to sow. I say that one more time. Do not go when God is telling you to sow. What am I saying? I know Miami is on the bucket list, but maybe God is telling you to sow instead of go. I know traveling overseas may be on your bucket list, but maybe God is telling you to sow instead of go. I know getting into that relationship is on that bucket list of yours, but maybe God is telling you to sow into your season sickness instead of going into a relationship. Maybe you need to sow before you go. And some of us may be thinking, I have nothing to sow. I have nothing to give right now if you make it in your heart and say it in your mind that I'm going to be a sower God will provide seed to the sower 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 10 says now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness so you have to have the mindset that i am going to sow in the year 2022 and the seed does not always have to be money the seed can be encouragement your seed can be love your seed can be kindness your seed can be a lending hand we don't determine the seed we only obey the one who gave us the seed i said it one more time we do not determine the seed we obey the one who gave us the seed. And here's some things you can sow in 2022. You can sow your time. You can sow your talents. You can sow your treasure. You can show, sow your temple. And you can sow your thanksgiving. Sow into your devotion devotion life with God. Sow your talents into people and businesses who cannot pay you back or put you on. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Verse 19 says, a feast is made for laughter. Wine makes life merry and money is the answer for everything. Sow your treasures into people and organizations and even sow your treasures into yourself. Sow your temple or your, your body. That's what the Bible says. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sow your temple to Jesus. Let 2022 be the year when you sow into your health. Let 2022 be when you be a year when you sow into your purity. Let us sow our temple to Jesus. And lastly, let us sow thanksgiving to our God. Don't wait to thank God. Thank God right now because when you sow a seed of thanksgiving, I'm here to tell you right now, you will reap a harvest of thanksgiving. Galatians chapter 6. Verse 7 says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. So let me tell you right now, do not expect a harvest if you're not willing to sow. Here's your warning. Here's it again. Do not expect a harvest if you're not willing to so, so some of y'all probably asking yourself, some of y'all probably wondering, how do I approach this year? I'm going to give you three things you must do in the year 2022. The first thing you must do is seek the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29 says, But if from there you seek the Lord your God, you will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. Isaiah 55 Verse 6 says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11 says, Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. 
The second thing you must do is obey the Lord. Isaiah 1 verse 19 says, If you're willing and obedient, you will eat the good things of the land. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 2 says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow his commandments, I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on the earth. All these blessings will come to, come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 22 says, But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice. To heed is better than the fat of rams. Do not withhold what God has told you to sow. And on the other hand, do not sow what God has told you to hold on to. To God, it has never been about the sacrifice. It has always been about the obedience. So obey the Lord. And the third thing you must do is wait on the Lord. Some seeds that you will sow in 2022, you will not see the harvest until 2032. So you have to be patient and wait on on the Lord. Psalm 27 verse 14 says, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Psalm 38 verse 15 says, Lord, I wait for you. You will answer, Lord, my God. And Isaiah 40 verse 31 says, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So in 2022, do these three things. Seek, obey, and wait. And for 2022, I want this verse to be our anchor verse. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we'll reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Before I end this video, I want to start this year off right with obedience. So I'm going to sow into the first five people on YouTube and Instagram who put their Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, and, or PayPal in the comment section. If you don't have any of those other things, just put five emojis in the comment section and we're going to figure it out. And my prayer for you and for 2022 is found in Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 to 26. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I don't want you to miss out on any of the amazing content coming from this channel. If you have any prayer requests, put it in the comment section below. I love you. God bless you. Once again, Happy New Year. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more content, subscribe over here and watch the next video over there. God bless you.